Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about gravitational potential energy. So what is gravitational potential energy? Well, gravitational potential energy is the energy due to an object's position in a gravitational field. And you can calculate gravitational potential energy using this formula. So that's m times g times h. Well, m is the mass measured in kilograms. G is gravitational acceleration, it's sometimes called gravitational field strength, and here on planet Earth it's approximately 10 newtons per kilogram, and H is the height above ground level, which is measured in meters. So let's look at a rock fall example. How much gravitational potential energy does a 5 kilogram rock 10 meters above the ground have? So here's our rock, and it's 5 kilograms, and it's at a distance of 10 meters. And don't forget, we're going to use g, the gravitational acceleration, which is 10 newtons per kilogram. So our formula to work out gravitational potential energy is mass times gravity, or gravitational acceleration, times by the height. So let's put the numbers in. Well, the mass of the rock was 5, uh, gravitational acceleration on Earth is 10, and the height is also 10. So our final answer is 500 joules, and the units are going to be joules because it's a gravitational potential energy. Uh, we measure energies in joules. A helicopter example. A helicopter is flying at a height of 1.5 kilometers above the ground. If it has 50 megajoules of gravitational potential energy, what is the mass of the helicopter? So again, we're going to use our formula mgh. Now, we can't use the 1.5 kilometers, we need to convert to meters, so we times by 1,000. So 1.5 kilometers is 1,500 meters. Okay, the 50 megajoules, so that prefix mega, that means a million, so we've got 50 million joules. And then let's just put this all into our equation. So 50 million joules is equal to the mass, which we don't know, times by gravitational acceleration, 10, times by the height, which is 1,500. Rearrange for m, and we find that the mass is 3,333 3, kilograms. Uh, throwing up example. A boy throws a 0 0.2 kilogram rock up with a speed of 5 meters per second. If all the kinetic energy became gravitational potential energy, how high will the stone go? So we're going to say, basically, that all the kinetic energy to begin with, so to work out kinetic energy, we use the formula half mv squared, and that's going to equal mgh, the gravitational potential energy. So first thing, we need to work out, well, how much energy do we have? So we're going to say a half times by 0 0.2, the mass, times by 5 squared, and we get 2.5 joules. So at the bottom where the guy has thrown the stone up, uh, it had 2.5 joules of kinetic energy. That's all going to be converted into gravitational potential energy. So we can say that gravitational potential energy, mgh, is equal to 2.5. So let's put the numbers in our equation for gravitational potential energy. So 0 0.2 times by 10 times by h, which we don't know, is equal to 2.5. Okay, rearrange to make h the uh, subject of the formula. And we find that h is equal to so 1.25 meters. Okay, guys, I hope that's been useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye for now.